Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we're going to be discussing the Pokeball that we see used in the first trailer for Legends Arceus. We're going to be talking about why it seems like we could be getting some new lore for the creation and history of the Pokeball, and how it could play into how we've seen development of the Pokeball over time, specifically when the Sylph Company invented an array of Pokeballs that we now see in the current day of the Pokemon world. Will we see some different versions of a Pokeball in Legends Arceus, or are we just going to have this one classic design? With that being said, let's jump right into things. Now I'm not expecting Pokemon and Game Freak to go and retcon the history of the Pokeball that much. But I think it's worth noting that we've seen the Pokeball used and other forms of capturing Pokemon in different mediums. And I think it's important that we distinguish that one medium might not be canon to another. And the example that I'll specifically use is the Pokemon anime. There's a lot of different features and things that we see in the anime that don't directly translate to the games, and some of them even involve the Pokeball itself. Two big examples is that the way how it's become iconic that the Pokeball gets bigger in size when you press that middle button, and that trainers keep smaller versions of the Pokeballs on a belt or in their backpack or some other sort. That originated in the anime. That really was never shown in the games, and it's not really known if that's canon in the games. The other thing that originated in the anime and did not come from the games is the red aura that a Pokemon is when it comes out of the Pokeball and when it's brought into the Pokeball. That is not in the games. That is another anime exclusive feature to the Pokeballs that Game Freak can either decide to keep as canon or not. We don't see that same action done when you catch a wild Pokemon in the video games or send out somebody from your party. With that being said, there's lore things that also seem to differ between the anime and the video games. The only real lore that we get for the Pokeball in the video games is that the Sylph Company invented the modern Pokeball and revolutionized the ability to buy and sell Pokeballs for trainers. We've also seen, through the anime, some older versions of the Pokeball. For example, in the Celebi movie, we saw Richie, What's his name, Richie? No, Sammy, Samuel Oak, the kid version of Professor Oak, using what seems to be almost like a, a clasp, a water clasp type of Pokeball where you unscrew the top almost like a water can and the Pokemon comes out in a burst of energy. And we can see that the design is actually a little bit similar to the steampunky kind of Pokeball that we get in the Legends Arceus trailer. But that doesn't give us all the information and it doesn't give us a history of how the Pokeball developed. We have seen in other mediums, the anime again in the Lucario movie, that Pokemon were held in different objects as well. Lucario was hold in the, held in the staff that Sir Aaron had, that, and Lucario was sealed in that staff. We've also seen in the anime old versions of Pokeballs, the King of Pokelopolis, Pokemopolis, however it is said in, in the advanced generation anime, is basically this really old stone kind of Pokeball that holds an evil dark spirit that eventually infects Ash. Like, and we've seen Dark Balls themselves used in the anime where it actually turns the Pokemon evil. So there's a lot of different adaptations and representations of Pokeballs throughout the anime that Game Freak does not have to abide by in this game. They can just completely wipe the slate clean and do something new with Pokeballs, and I think that's what they might end up doing. With all of that being said about the previous lore, I think Legends Arceus has the chance to really give us some more fleshed out information about how the Pokeball originally came to be. Was there an evolution? Were there steps between humans in the Pokemon world wanting to befriend and control Pokemon in a way that turned them from wild to more domesticated? And how did we get to that point? And how did we get to the design and the concept of what the Pokeball is? Obviously, from what we've seen in Legends Arceus, the main kind of mechanism, the main concept behind it to this point has pretty much been fleshed out. The only real evolutions that we see is a refinement of the technology and a refinement of the design and a surplus of the Pokeball itself in modern times. The other thing that we don't know much about is how many variants there are. We saw the, the classic styled Pokeball, the classic colors of red and white, but it's still a different design. Could we see, are there prototypes in this period of time of the more advanced Pokeballs? Great Balls, Ultra Balls, the, the specialized Pokeballs, things like the Dive Ball, the Dusk Ball. 
those kind of Pokeballs, the ones that are specialized to capture specific Pokemon, specialized so that they're more effective, those types of things. The one thing that we know was invented by the Sylph Company and perfected was the Master Ball. I don't think that's the sort of thing we're going to see in an ancient game because that feels like probably the most modern advancement of the Pokeball up to this point in the timeline. Are we going to see, could we have an advancement to where apricorns, apricots, they're apricorns, whereas in the gold and silver games, Kurt uh, uses the na nature itself to craft these Pokeballs for you. Could we see Pokeball variants of that form? Is that the natural evolution that Pokeballs took? Did we go from using uh, Apricorns to craft Pokeballs? Did the Sylph Company coming around and eventually specializing and institutionalizing specific types of Pokeballs that maybe you don't need Apricorns to make? The basic ones, the Great Balls, the Ultra Balls, as I mentioned before, the Dusk Balls and the Quick Balls are present as well. The ones that are more well available. The Pokeballs that Kurt makes, you don't get in every single game. There was a lot of generations up until the most recent where you could not get these Pokeballs in regular gameplay. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you could get them, but we couldn't get them in Gen 5, we couldn't get them in Gen 6, we couldn't get them in Gen 7, though we did get certain Pokeballs from random people who would give you the item. And then in Gen 8, we finally had the ability to make them again. So there's a there's a bit of lore and there's a, a, a natural progression there that we've gotten hints and we've gotten winks and nods towards from the Pokemon company. But I think that there's a way that we can really see this. And also the thing that interests me the most is the technology. We can see in the trailer for Legends Arceus that there is this kind of like steam effect when you capture a Pokemon that rises from the top of the Pokeball, letting you know that it's been caught. It doesn't have, it still has that motion, it still has that wiggling to see if the Pokemon is gonna stay in the ball. But the way in which it goes about doing that seems to be different. Why is that? Is this just an aesthetic thing? Is this something that we're really not going to get information on? Or could we have a link between what the Pokemon professor that we don't know of yet is doing in this region and these new Pokeball technologies? Also, I mean, how readily available are Pokeballs to people in this time? We've seen from the trailer that this is a largely unsettled area. And if you want to compare real world human history to Pokemon world history for a moment, one could infer that the availability and use of Pokeballs as a way to almost domesticate the land could be directly correlated to where people and where civilization branches out into the wilds. When you don't have to worry about the constant threat of wild Pokemon, some of which are incredibly destructive, then you are able to build settlements and build societies in more expansive areas. That's a really interesting bit of lore to the Pokemon world that is not rooted in truth just yet. It's just a, a little bit of a mini theory. And we could really see some of that stuff play out in this game. I think the ability for them to flesh out Pokeballs would really do a ton to better our understanding of the Pokemon world in its entirety. And I think Legends Arceus has a big chance to do that. There's a lot in this topic. There's a lot of different paths you can take, especially in trying to figure out how readily available Pokeballs are and how they reflect civilization at this time in the Pokemon world. Sinnoh seems to be a largely unexcavated, unexplored, uncultivated land. It seems to be full of Pokemon and full of nature and not really full of any people. And that begs the question of how did humans first get to a lot of these regions? There's a lot of really good lore things that we can learn here. And I think that the use and creation of what will eventually become the modern Pokeball plays a big factor into this. With that being said, I want to know what you guys think. There's more content to be made on Pokeballs and the advancements of technology in the Pokemon world, and we could learn a lot of that from Legends Arceus. It's something that I want to keep discussing here on the channel, so if you guys have any ideas or any thoughts as to how you think we could see technology in this, time, in this part of the timeline that we've never explored before, let me know down in the comments. And also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, because according to my analytics, not a ton of you guys are, less than half of people who watch this video are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you want to get more Pokemon discussion content, more gaming content with friends from me and everybody else who's in my sub box and who I do videos with, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another upload. With that being said, I apologize for the break last week in content. I was home, did not have access to my PC, but we are good now. And we're going to go on that YouTube grind, and I hope I will see you guys soon with another video. Peace out.